Have you had your breakfast yet, Miranda? I don't do breakfast. Suit yourself. Yeah, I intend to. Was there something else? Yeah, I was looking for Victoria, actually. Thought she might be here, cooing over poor Nathan's weird acne. What? Did you sleep well? No. Look, there she is. Who? Dr Victoria Merrick. Idiot. Do you think that's her boyfriend? I wouldn't know. Well, they look like they're together. Sort of. Why don't you ask her? Maybe I will. Hiya. Hi. Oh, was that your boyfriend you were with earlier in the car park? Are you spying on me? <laughs> I saw you from the window. No, he's a colleague. Oh, did you sleep all right? Yeah, never better. Good. Excuse me. Hiya. Hi. Well, we've had the first test back, the CSF and the CT scan, and they're negative. We think what you had was a migraine. That's old people stuff. Not necessarily. My mother gets migraines. Gross. Well, Dr Taylor's going to write a note for your GP and Steve's phoning your parents. What for? So you can go home. I don't want to go home. Why not? OK, well, we're going to do these tests on you first anyway. Great. I've got one of those. Oh, we must have the same taste then. In scarves, I mean. I bet we've got a lot in common. Right, what I'm going to do is scrape your arm with a blunt needle and then I'm going to put some of these drops and bottles on it and in about 15 minutes we'll know whether you have to banish your cat to the garden. Have you got a cat? No. <laughs> I bet you've got loads of boyfriends. <laughs> Why do you say that? Well, you're beautiful for a start. And you've got one of the best jobs in the world. It must be so cool to work in a hospital. Everyone's so glamorous and stuff. And good. They're good at what they do. Must be really cool being good at what you do. My brother's good at stuff. Planets and things. Planets? Astrophysics or something. And my sister's just spoiled. But she's going to be really clever and disgustingly beautiful. And what about you? Maybe they could fix my ears like Debbie's. There's nothing wrong with your ears. Do you think I look all right? I think you look lovely. No, I don't. I hate the way I look. I don't have a problem with plastic surgery. I mean, some people think it's really yuck and unnatural. I don't. I mean, if you're not happy with something, just fix it. Would you ever have plastic surgery? I haven't really thought about it. That's because you don't need it. Please don't send me home. Miranda, you made me jump. Why don't you want to go home? I need to know. You're still not having any allergic reactions. Dr Taylor wants me to discharge you. Have you found my parents yet? No, not yet. Good. Miranda, they're really not helping me. Look, they don't like me at home. It's quite simple. I'm a bit of a disappointment. And I'll probably end up being a waitress or something, according to my father. There's nothing wrong with being a waitress. At least I'd be independent. I can't wait to be independent. That's what I used to think. Don't tell me it's a phase. It probably is. I bet your father didn't think you'd be a waitress. No, but he had it all worked out for me. All I had to do was join the dots. And look at you. You're successful, you're beautiful. You got a really cool job. Did you always want to be a doctor? Yeah. Didn't really have much choice, though. Look. I told them that I fell and put my arm through a window, but I didn't. I did that on purpose. I cut myself. Oh, don't say anything. Miranda, how are you feeling now? Fine. Oh, good. Then you can go home soon. I can't wait. Uh, not that I don't like it here. I've written a letter to... To my GP, I know. Victoria told me. Well, then. Good luck. Thanks. A word? Miranda, can I see your arm? It's OK. How do you 
did this happen? I fell and put my arm through a window at school. Is that true, Miranda? Yes. We can ask my father if you don't believe me. The school called him and he took me to hospital. It was here, actually. Accident and emergency. I got blood all over his precious new car. Okay. Thank you, Miranda. Steve? Yeah? Call Miranda's parents, will you, and ask them to come and collect her as soon as they can. Okay. Are you in trouble? You lied. Yeah, but not to you. But can I come and see you? At home? I mean, we could go out or something. I just hate hanging around with people of my own age. They're, they're so dull and all they talk about is boys and clothes and... I mean, I'd call and check if it's okay first. I wouldn't just turn up. I won't if you don't want me to. I didn't say that. Well, how will I know where to find you? I'll be here. I'll be here. Ottawa, Holby City. Great. There is no reason to keep you in. Who says? Dr. Taylor. So it wasn't your idea to send me home? No. <sighs> That's all right then. Your dad's going to be here in a minute. Yeah. I know. You all packed and ready? Mm-hmm. Is it all right if I wait in here? Yeah, of course. If you are having problems at home, there are people you can talk to. We can refer you. Refer me? Yeah. To a psychiatrist or social services. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You told me you were unhappy. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Miranda, are you lying? Like I lied to Dr. Taylor about cutting myself. I stuck my neck out for you. So? Fine. It doesn't matter. And I think you'll find that that's my scarf. I don't care! This is my dad. Hi. You must be Dr. Merrick? Yeah, pleased to meet you. So you've uh, sorted out my little princess, eh? I hope so. Well, uh, we'll take over from here and uh, she'll be in good hands, Doctor. I'm sure she will. Come on, then your mum's waiting. I know where to find you. Otterwood, Holby City. It's right, isn't it? Bye. <laughs> 